It's just water heater right here. It is messed up. What the heck is going on here? Um, that thing is rusted. It is not normal at all. So this thing is a water heater on thermal expansion tank. And look, it's kind of ready to be a blow up. It's a ticking time bomb kind of thing. And so is this thing good for the tank? No. And is this thing good for the water heater? For this thing? Answer is no. Can it ruin the, the plumbing system like these? And over the house? Yes, it can. And is it safe for the family? Potentially can be dangerous on this one. So today's video is going to how to fix that. And uh, and I don't know how it became so rusted like that. Can you believe that? I that is like mind blowing how that thing just happened that way. So let's dig in and get into it and let's fix it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, this will, should not take very long to fix this. All right, guys. I'm here at the uh, gas station right here, and I'm here to to stop by uh, to get some air for the thermal expansion water tank right here. See, and it's free, 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 free. That's wrong with free. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push the button right here and push this so that uh, this compressor has an air going. And so let me grab this hose right here. So I just got this from the Home Depot. It's a, a thermal expansion water tank and I'm going to replace this. But before I install this, I need to put some air in here and I don't have a way to uh, put air in here. So I came over to the gas station to fill it up. And so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, and let's see. Let's check the uh, pressure. It, sh it should be like a 40 PSI pre uh, pressurized from the manufacturer so let's see what it says and it says about yep 40 PSA so um, and I'm not sure what the uh, pressure at the house might be at the rental property but uh, um, so I'm guessing so, but uh, it should not exceed the 60 PSI is a rule of thumb but uh, I'm gonna, just in case, I'm gonna put 75 PSA and once I installed it and find out what the actual gauge might be, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, reduce it down. But let's go ahead and check and see how much air to put in. Let's see. And go for it. Go. Okay, did I do it? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how long it takes. Check. What did it just say? It says 50. Okay, let's do a little bit more. And. <laughs> 74 PSI. So for this house, water pressure is 95. It is 95.5 now because I went to the house and checked the water temperature. Not water temperature, water pressure, and it was 90, 95. So I'd come to the gas station and refill back up to the 95.5. So let's go back and install this thing. Before I install this crazy, whatever that thing is, is that I just want to tell you in 10 seconds, this extension is for, uh, to prevent from these things to go expand and shrink when the water temperature goes cold to hot, just like the hot pot. When you boil something, the, the lid kind of pops open, same kind of thing. And so this will allow that to control that. And it has like a, some, so right now, um, it has some air and some water and this little uh, like a uh, lever thing inside, the rubber thing, it goes move back and forth to regulate and control this. Dang it, that was over 10 seconds. More of 15 seconds. Okay, let's do the installation. So before doing any of the installation on uh, this thing and replacing all that, always to shut off the water to the main cold water. So let's bring the levers down. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the bathroom and then we're going to uh, turn the water, the, the hot water part on so that the water can go down 
slowly so that the water from remaining here can go drain down here is the whole purpose of it so let's do that wow wow okay so let's go ahead and then uh, turn the water on for the hot water and keep on turning on until water stop running okay so we're on a water heater here and uh, right now it is set to uh, look like a, an A right here and we're gonna switch dial to to the pilot so let's turn that sucker to okay to the pilot this thing has been shut off the thermostat has been turned into pilot and then the bathroom ran come through and empty the hot water side area so this should be have released a lot of uh, water in there so let's go ahead and do this so I'm using this one the bigger one to hold on to this one and I'm using a smaller one to turn this sucker okay this thing is so freaking heavy it's more than 10 pounds i don't think this is very safe all that weight in this doing like this should be installed like this not sideways so wow take a look at this thing look at that all right guys so i am using this teflon tape right here and i am going to wrap around with this little thread back here and so i'm just gonna place it right here can you guys see and then I'm just going to go wrap like this okay that should be good enough so this one I went to the gas station remember and I filmed this thing and put 95.5 psi in here because since I don't have a compressor here so agent smart thinking <laughs> all right and so and then before I install this thing here, make sure that the thread is nice and clean, like kakamaka stuff. Take it out of there. Because you don't want that debris and thread and whatever stuff in here you don't want. In order to put a, a air pressure, you put it right here. It's the same thing as the bicycle pump or a car tire. And you insert right here for it. And then I'm just gonna slowly Turn this until the thread is locked in. Okay, that's good. Just a hand tight, nothing more. So, okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a, a climbing tape right here. And I am gonna do like this place right here and go all the way around like this and wrap around like this. So that it can support the weight so and since i already did that and got the measurement and so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut it with a tin snip okay and then got it and i'm using this this screw right here i couldn't find a washer very because i'm using a, a nut in front of it because the hole here is kind of big so i place it right there and I'm going to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to place this thing right behind it. And uh, just to support the weight, this screws right here. And then uh, place it in the back all right so here's a true moment and turn this water main pipe to on and see if anything else is leaking or not
Nothing's leaking. Look like it's just a little bit leaking right here. So guys, I used one of these to make a tight seal on this one. So with Teflon and this, this thing really helped because this alone did not work and just did one drip at a time where this one did it complete all the way. So we are, set, we are satisfied and go ahead and put this thing right up back in here. Okay, so we are done and thanks for watching my channel. See you next time. Bye. Nasty Tink. Goodbye. You've been terrible. Poof.